Last time on Road Warrior, we packed it up and headed south to Florida after spending three incredible weeks in Nashville, Tennessee. We absolutely loved it there. Along the way, we ran into a couple of major accidents, but thankfully, we avoided them thanks to Google. Along the route, we headed straight through the middle of Atlanta, and when it got towards the end of the day, we tried finding a nice place to stay, and uh, after visiting several truck stops, there was a major storm in the area, and all the spots were taken, so we found a place on the side of the road, ended up being much better than staying at a truck stop, much quieter, and uh, we left early the next morning and made the final few hundred miles to Ocala, Florida, where we are going to spend the next few days to a week getting work done on our rig and visiting the Ocala RV show to do some work. So we are in Ocala and we are going to the Ocala RV show tomorrow. We're working it. So we're checking it out. They're setting up right now. So it looks like a pretty good show. Weather is beautiful right now. But um, yeah, this place is awesome. It's the Ocala uh, Horse Farm. I think uh, that's what it's called. Yes. We're at the Ocala RV show and uh, there are some badass rigs here. I can't wait to check them out. I had just lost full control of the drone. What a scary moment as tons of people and really expensive RVs were right below me. I was trying to do my best to just get the drone out of harm's way into an open area and I struggled to keep control. Weren't sure why this was happening but there was some kind of signal interference and even though I didn't have full control I was able to just get it out of harm's way and do a little crash landing. You like it? I love it. I like that huge window right there. Now you see her. And now we're gonna <laughs> bring her back. Bring her back. This is what four hundred thousand dollars gets you? Yeah. It has heat cooling, I think. Pretty cool. <laughs> and the coolest thing about this Raptor is that this is the second bathroom and it's full bathroom. So, toilet sink and a shower is actually has pretty high ceilings. Also, it has a huge pantry. Um, I don't really like where TV's at. It's big. It's more eye level, but the seats are over here. If we didn't need space for our toys, this layout, it's beautiful. I mean, check this out. It's really, really nice. All right, so we're inside of a truck camper. So we're talking about in the future, yep. possibly throwing this on our Juicy Girl. And this would allow us to travel the world in our truck and be able to go off-road and get to more remote places. So this is pretty cool. You know, you got your bed up in the front. TV, radio, your 
fridge. Got a dinette here. Fridge. It's big enough. Little two burner stove. Sink. 23 grand. And you got some storage. And you got more storage. Microwave. Convection. More storage. So, yeah, not bad. And, you know, it'd be cool because we would be able to throw it right on our truck, go off road, and we could still hook up a motorcycle to the back. Yeah, buddy. Let me check this back. Bathroom shower, check it out. Come, bathroom shower, it's interesting. Look. Yep, so it's all in one. So, it's like a boat. Yep, pretty cool. Got your ladder, pretty cool. Right now, it's 78, and the pressure is 16.2. When you first go in the program mode, you'll share all 22 tire positions. Winnebago 2017 Tour. It's gorgeous. It's a 42 feet. Look at the TV. Yeah, about that. Look at those windows. Nice, comfy bed. Check out this bathroom. It's gorgeous. See? With a nice little seat so you can shave your legs and just sit down and relax. If we didn't have so many toys, this will be incredible. Huge fridge. I mean, look at that. Dishwasher. Nice half bath for your guests. Oh my god. You can put all your knives in there. Oh nice, look at this. The captain's seat. Do I make a good captain? And this is how she looks on the outside. I'm just exploring a little bit. We'll Sean does a couple videos. I'm like just walking around. This is called the Florida Horse Park. Um, I mean, I don't know where all the horses are or if they keep them here. Maybe I keep them over there. I don't know. I just want to go check. Should I? Maybe I will. All right, that's a beautiful photo right there. Katie, Abby. All right. Chris. And the po proud papa here. <laughs> All right. Awesome. You guys are looking at RVs? Uh-huh. Yeah? Uh -huh. What's your favorite? Um, mostly um, the um, one with um, like the top beds over the um, driver's seat. Oh, that's pretty cool, right? Yeah, she's that's a class A fan. Yeah. They are nice. They are nice because then you can just be laying there while your dad's driving, right? <laughs> That's the best part. Cool. What's your favorite? Um, mostly I like those ones. You like these guys here? The, the toy haulers? Cool. What about you? I'm into the toy haulers. We're yeah. For a fifth wheel, you know, and we like the, uh, we like the Road Warrior, the 427. We just saw the, the KZ Venom, the 4113. Yeah. That thing is pretty amazing. Yeah. Pretty cool. There's so, so many nice options out there for sure. We're also a big fan of the Fusions. Cool. We like some of the bigger Fusions. Yeah. Yeah, there's so many nice ones. I mean, you can't go wrong with any of those for sure, you know? It's just finding the floor, floor plan, really, that you like. Exactly. So. Everything's a compromise. Yeah. Cool. Well, it's great running into you guys. You too, bud. Let's maybe... Uh, Let's stand right here with maybe the Kodiak in the back. There we go. Okay. Ready whenever you guys are. So Dean, tell me a little bit about Kodiak as a brand. So Kodiak as a brand, we are under the Thor umbrella. It's gonna keep it rolling if you guys screw up, you just, whatever, sure. you know, so. Hi, my name is Denver Beck. I'm the owner of Optimum RV. Thanks for watching today. Today we're with Dean Catanzarite with Kodiak Aspen Trail, Regional Sales Manager. Dean, tell us a little bit about this Kodiak that we're in today. 
The big thing about the Kodiak that you're in today, 80 inch ceiling heights, LED lights, that 80 inch ceiling. <laughs> Come on, let's go outside. Go, girl. Come on. Go, girl. <laughs> Come on. Hold up. Go. Come on. Baby girl, let's go. Come on. Come on. Yeah, girl, go. <laughs> Come on, girl. Uh -uh. Yeah. 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 Keep walking, though. Up here, enough room to put a, uh, to put a, uh, a razor in the back here. How many axles? Three. Three. Oh, it looks awful yeah. big. This is a big toy hauler. All right, Steve. So tell us uh, what makes Road Warrior different and separates it from other toy haulers. You know, I, I think it's um, um, the biggest thing I can think of is, is smart engineering. And, and when I say that, um, we have a dedicated engineering staff and we listen to what the, the customer is looking for and then structure our units around that. And, you know, for instance, if you looked at, at this kitchen, it's a fully functional kitchen in an RV and how many times you don't, you know, witness that in other floor plans. Now what makes a toy hauler unique, um, and you'll hear us coin a lot of time, crossover. And what's transpired over the last four or five years is the garage has become a convertible living space. And that's what makes this segment so attractive. So in terms of camping, bring what you want with you, unload it when you get here, and then convert it into living space. So you can bring your bikes, you can bring your kayaks, you can bring your four wheelers, you can bring your trike, you can bring whatever you want. So that's what makes this segment popular is go where you want to take what you want unload it and convert it into living space it just makes sense that's nice
Hey guys, Travis here with Optimum RV. We're here at the uh, Ocala show, RV show, and we got uh, Mike Mack with KZ. We're in the all new uh, Durango uh, 382 MBQ. Mike, tell us a little bit about it. All right, so this is a four slide model. It's around 40 feet long. Um, this is your full time living um, fifth wheel. And as far as I know, we're the only ones with a two year warranty that it's included uh, for uh, full time use. River is the biggest manufacturer of towables in the world, and Cherokee is one of the biggest divisions in Forest River. Hey guys, Travis here, Optimum RV. We're at the Ocala RV Show, and we have Wayne from Venture. What are we looking at today? Travis, today we're looking at uh, one of the uh, Sonic lines here. Uh, Sonic is lights and ultralights made by Venture RV. We're actually a division of KZ. KZ's been around since 1972. Mommy's coming. She's gonna help you. I love you. I wish they weren't hurting. Section's tough, baby. I mean, you'll be ready for it soon, but you just gotta commit. The way you're going down is actually the best way, but since I slowed up, I went around. But if I had a little speed, I would just come straight down. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on another episode of Road Warrior. We'd love to hear what your dream RV is. Leave it in the comments below. Make sure to tune into next episode as we get some work done on our rig. This channel is fueled by you, so make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, check out our website, roadwarriorlife.us, to find out more about us and ways that you can support the channel.